Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and thank you for tuning in to this episode of Let's Fix That Rush and this is episode number 28. Can you guys believe it? But check it out guys, we've got our level 14 queen and today we're taking this queen to level 15 which is a huge upgrade. This is when the queen starts getting fun guys. Before 15, she's alright. But after that, she becomes a beast, and I love it because the uh, the level 15 upgrade gives you level 3 of the Royal Cloak ability, which is just all that more OP, and it's amazing. So guys, I cannot wait for that. Also guys, our laboratory is, is not doing anything, so we're going to be starting the Wizard upgrade, which is going to take it to max, which means today is huge, level 15 Queen, max Wizards, but the cost is 8,500,000 Elixir. You're talking about all the loot that we can have in our and our, our storages. So guys, I've got Barch, and I get I know it's like, hey, you've done Barch 28 episodes. When are we gonna get something new? Guys, that is the name of the game. Whenever it comes to fixing a rush, you want to keep your cost of your army down and you want to farm uh basically high efficiency. That's what you're aiming for. That's what you're wanting for uh this this type of uh of base situation. You want to farm that elixir so that you can actually fix your rush. So this is the challenge. This is why nobody wants to fix a rush because it is a difficult thing to do, but it takes hard work and it can be done. I guarantee you. So check out this dead base, guys. I can't read the name of the guy, but 300,000 elixir, that much more gold, 3,400 dark elixir, which is a great base to find, especially because at first glance, it looks like all the dark elixir is on or is in these drills on the outside. So what I always do, I always look for these bomb towers because they always, uh, you know, the splash damage is brutal. So we take out these bomb towers at the beginning if they're on the outside of the base. And I saw another one up here. So let's take these guys out. Also, we're we're in luck because the heroes are in the course that means we don't have to bother with them we don't have to worry about them at all so next thing guys a standard four finger uh barts deployment on either side all the way around wrap this base up nicely and then throw down our archers now i've got my heroes level 12 king level 14 queen and we're going to definitely be using them to grab some loot if we need to. Now, guys, what I was saying was you need the elixir. Barch is the best way to get that elixir so that we can continue working on our offensive buildings. Obviously, gold is going to go poured into walls, defenses, traps, etc. And uh, dark elixir is going to be poured into our heroes. But we have the problem right now. I'm having the problem of balancing the need for both uh, for both elixir in the laboratory and elixir on the base in the buildings and so that that's kind of a, the struggle that we're having to deal with right now so guys right now here's what we've got we've got um let's prioritize the i don't know guys i don't know what do you think we've got four sections this one's got a little dark elixir this one's got dark elixir and elixir this one's got dark elixir or, i'm sorry golden elixir and uh and then this one's got golden elixir also so let's go for the let's go for this one first and see if the king can get both without help if he can get both without help then uh, we'll be in good shape. Let's pop his, uh, his ability, and then once we get the Dark Elixir and the Elixir, we'll decide how much is in that Elixir, or the Dark Elixir drill that is left, and then we'll go from there. So we could get 100 Dark Elixir out of this drill here, or we could get some Elixir out of here. Um, I'm not sure, guys. This is a hard decision. Uh, let's go ahead and... Let's go ahead and choose, let's choose this one on the bottom. Let's get the elixir out of here. That's uh, That one ended up having uh, 20,000. That was not bad. And a little bit of gold. We'll pop the queen's ability. I want to keep her alive. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and cut out. We did lose, but 46% loss. But the grab with the, with the barch, it only costs like 80,000 elixir. The profit, the gold, the dark elixir, gorgeous guys. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. 3,000 dark elixir on a, on a, uh, a barch raid is gorgeous guys. So I've got another one live, but let's check out this replay real quick because i don't want to lose it I'm, i don't remember how far down oh it's right there okay so snipes snipe l look at the name look at that guy's name snipes <laughs> snipes oh there's a five in there snipes five okay snipes five is a dead tunnel 10 sitting on over four hundred thousand gold uh three thousand dark elixir and over three hundred seventy thousand elixir plus a loot bonus gorgeous base and also this is one of those where the uh the queen is kind of on the outside but there i don't think the bomb towers are outside so and the best thing is that there's holes in the walls so that the barbarians aren't completely stuck on the walls so you know doing the same standard that i usually do four finger deployment wrapping the base and i hold
hold my heroes to see where I could snipe loot at the end. Uh, because I, I like to hold on to those heroes in case I don't need them. Because if I don't need them, there's no point in damaging them and forcing them to sleep for a little while. So the bar the uh the barch doing work. There's dark elixir all over these drill. Like, look at this drill right here. Full, completely full. Uh 2700 still left. The third. The, the first one that went down was right here, and the archers got it. But then there's one over here, with the, which these archers are attempting to grab. And then that one on the south that will remain untouched. So what I will end up doing with this base, because there's only 14 gold elixir left. I mean, how gorgeous could it get? How beautiful is it, right? So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to drop my queen. She's going to grab this down here, pop her ability right now. She's going to grab the stark elixir here. And then we're going to use our king to grab this one on the right-hand side. I'm not sure. I usually use the king first, but it doesn't really matter what order you do it in. Uh, the king's going to get that. He's going to pop his ability early so that he grabs the dark elixir drill and then starts working on some storages. Of course, we've already got the one star, so it really doesn't matter at this point. We've already got all the loot that we're going to grab. I think the 14 is still... That the 14 that's left is probably in this clan castle, based on just the fact that there's some coins sitting on top of the roof there. But um, anyway, so the loot grab there was gorgeous, and then there was another one that was really good as well. Just to, just showing you guys how I'm getting the loot. I all of the elixir I got took three hours of barching one last night, two this morning, and then um, the dark elixir came from barching as well. So I mean, it really was quite magical how this happened. Let's look at Jorge. Jorge B, or no, I'm sorry, Jorge 68, sitting on a, a wonderful base. And this attack was actually quite different. Look at this. We got a single targeting Inferno in the middle of the base, level two. And um, so what I did was I decided, you know what, let's snipe a few things, like this Dark Lose is on the outside. But I wanted to mainly, like, force my troops in and grab this elixir out of the storage, because that looks so good. Doesn't that look pretty? And it's surrounded by mortars, which are uh, too close, and they can't shoot you. It's in the blind spot. And a single... Uh, single inferno which is which basically you know is no problem at all so we got uh barbarians and archers trying to kill this enemy queen here uh or king and he goes down very nicely um now i'm starting to question whether i grab this drill down here because I, I don't remember like i just did it so i don't remember seeing that actually but anyway so we got ourselves a, an amazing funnel everything's funneled nicely we're gonna use the king to burrow in level 12 king not the best but not bad. He's about mid range now for a town hall, uh, for a tunnel nine. Although I am a tunnel ten rushed account. Ah, <laughs> I forget, but then I remember how much work this account has been. All right, so we got our barbarians. We got our archer queen. Uh, we got um, we're gonna jump over this compartment here to get us into that center. We also got a heal and a rage in the face of that wizard tower so that uh, all my barbarians don't die. Also a rage spell to keep the barbarians mad and get through quickly. Um, and then look at that. The archers clutch taking out that wizard tower. Very nice. Now the king is in the core dealing with that inferno nicely done we got barbarians all over that core king special ability i think i missed that ability but the queen will come up and uh take care of the rest once that king and all those barbarians die because there is a lot of splash damage taken out but the queen grabs a dark elixir storage so this is a situation this is an example of where you don't always have to just wrap the base you can use your troops to dive into the base especially through max barks and you guys remember i channel eight level barks when we first started we've upgraded them a lot and um you know it's it's come in handy also having a very long lasting jump spell came in handy this time because i I think it's about to disappear but it's a it's a max jump spell so that really comes in handy so anyway guys uh pop the king's ability i think we've gotten pretty much all the loot a lot more than expected out of this basis because it was a pretty high level base i'd been searching a while ended up finding this one it was easy to get my troops in and uh actually wow 520 000 elixir it didn't i didn't realize that this one is was a 694 000, uh elixir total we just missed out on a little bit we, we grabbed all the dark elixir on the outside probably by luck but the the, the the gold storage and the or I'm sorry the elixir storage and the elixir collector right there no, oh, we just didn't quite make it. <laughs> the base is too strong, but that's all right. So we got into the barts. Let's go ahead and go out. We don't have our king, but we can always, always use our queen. She is a beast. And she's about to be level 15, which is going to make her even more beast. I cannot wait, guys. But either way, let's uh, let's uh, let's skip. I'll find us a good base to wreck. Um, okay, so check out this base, guys. It is one of those, like, I can't tell if it's rushed or engineered. I can't tell. We'd have to look at his profile after the attack. But, um, while I was searching, I was kind of questioning, like, hey, wait a minute. I'm about to max out my elixir. Should I quit and spend the elixir and then attack a base? 
But then I find this and I'm like, okay, well, I might waste 100,000 elixir. That's not the end of the world. It's worth it to get almost half a million gold and max my gold at the same time. So holy cow. All right. So we got our queen. Let's do this. Let's come at the base. Um, you know what? I think we'll just end up wreck. Let's just do this. All right. So barbarians and archers. We're going to go heavy down here just for that barbarian. I mean, that wizard tower and that queen. Let's, uh, let's poison the queen just to keep her damage down. Just for a bit. Oh, and a giant... Okay, this guy's got external giant bombs. That's not good at all. Um, okay, so next step, guys, is do we want to circle the base or do we want to just uh, just like go straight through it? Uh, we've already funneled one side. Let's funnel the other. Let's kind of like... Let's do this. Let's put barbarians and archers down on this side here. And um, and then what? Let's, uh, let's let this corner get funneled out and then let's send our troops directly into that core. Oh, no! Ah, oh, there, there's, there's balloons. I wish I would have held on to my poison spell. Oh no. All right. We need to, we need to keep these balloons distracted. Queen, please shoot them down. Please shoot them down quick. Shoot them down. Hurry, hurry. All right. Gosh, the queen's taking forever to, to kill these balloons. Um, queen, 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 kill them. Kill them now. Okay. Golly. All right. So balloons max balloons are crazy strong guys i know you know that but just figured i'd tell you again all right so uh barbarians and archers all down let's jump them in and let's also heal them and then let's also rage them so this is like a mini goblin knife in a in a in a way uh and then what we'll do is we're also going to heal and rage them again uh do we need to do that actually i mean yeah let's do that let's heal and then let's rage that group up there. Wow, that king dropped so fast. I think the way I figure, uh, this is our last raid for the day anyway. So let's just go out with a bang and dominate this base. Wow, raged. Wow, guys, healed and raged. Max Barch is so powerful. I love it. And that queen kind of cleaning up on this side. We just have a couple of defenses to contend with, and then that's it. So um, I don't. I can't, again, I can't read this guy's name. But if uh, if this is an engineered base or a rush base, either way, we got our money's worth out of this guy. And we've maxed our elixir, and we're gonna max our gold uh, with the loot bonus. So we did we did very well, guys. That was awesome. I. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. Let's go check out what this guy's offense looks like because then um, it could be a learning experience for us. So this is a town of 10 with level 10 and level 8 king and queen. So that uh, that does not scream engineering to me. Engineering usually maxes offense. And also the balloons are only level 5. You get level 6 balloons at uh, town hall 10. So that means this is definitely just a rusher. And um, we got we got our money's worth out of it. So that was awesome. All right. So let's go to our progress base, guys. We got all kinds of loot to spend and it's going to be glorious. I think the first thing we need to do is definitely spend up this elixir. So um, as you guys know, got, whoa, no, 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 no golems. No, we've been working mainly on our farming troops. And so like the barbarians, archers, goblins, everything is maxed. We've maxed our healers i don't use peck up so just, i haven't upgraded them i don't use dragons so i haven't upgraded them just just because it's not like i'm against them all right they're good now they're actually pretty good gold wipes not terrible now it's just not the best but i don't use peck or dragons because they're extremely expensive on elixir and as i've explained already i need elixir so i'm not gonna upgrade them yet but i am gonna upgrade the wizards because those max wizards are absolutely epic guys but the question is gonna be what we're gonna do after but let's go ahead and do this right now 8.5 million any elixir uh 14 day yeah two week upgrade guys this is going to give us plenty of time to get some more elixir to do some offensive buildings while the laboratory is busy so let's go ahead and do this guys in three two one bam nice all right guys so that uh, oh wait no so that does it we're not going to be upgrading the dragons of the pecker for a while we need our elixir so we're going to hold on to it for for something else in the lab that's more important for farming right now i'd love to do the baby dragon but i have not yet unlocked them uh because our barracks were still under leveled so i'd like to get the baby dragons max from tunnel 10 that's one big thing lightning spell will come in handy whenever we start doing like lunian if we do any uh bbq or, or zap quakes uh so that's kind of important the clone spell something i've never really used but i've heard it's really good uh so that would probably be on the bottom of our priority list but the freeze spell is huge if we ever start attacking tunnel 10 so 
definitely the priority going forward is going to be baby dragons if we can ever get them unlocked and the free spell for elixir now we're going to continue putting dark elixir into our heroes but we have a lot of work to do in the lab with dark elixir and that is going to be a major struggle once we get there but at this point we're doing great we've got our plan set up for that now the next thing we're going to talk about guys is dark elixir we've got enough 86 ounces dark elixir so we've got enough to put the queen down to level 15 guys this is exciting 15 is awesome i love it i love it love it love it our queen on the uh tunnel 9 episode or tunnel 9 let's play just hit level 10 so this is kind of a huge this is cool all right so after this um so we'll do that last that's a good finale so let's go ahead and spend some gold shall we um the uh like i explained in the previous episode if you have not seen the previous episode i do recommend you watch it i recommend you watch all of them because it'll give you a good idea of what we've been doing and how to recover a rush base because this is uh this is way better than it was um but basically these dots these walls indicate how many levels these things need to go to be max uh, for traps that's max for tunnel 10 but for the defenses that's max for tunnel 8. so i'm gonna max my traps first which means let's go and do the two bombs that's good 1.5 million gold they only need one level to go before they're maxed so let's go ahead and do that guys 1.5 million gold three two one bam and let's go ahead and do this one as well one two three three two one bam nice all right so that's two builders taken up and those bombs are done we can move them out and actually that frees up an entire column in our progress base which is nice and for those of you that are new the progress base is just a way for us to keep track of what we're doing on the base so those are done we can move this wall back actually up here so that's kind of a big deal and um yeah we're not going to readjust everything but we do have let me think we're going to do uh we're going to do our our queen right so that's one builder so that means we've got two builders left for gold so let's go ahead and do two more things with gold and that's going to be both of our hidden teslas we've got teslas are traps but they're defenses they're hard to they're, they're hard to judge but they're very low war weight again why i'm upgrading traps first uh i've got two that are level two and two that are level three so let's go ahead and get both of these level two going to level three that's another 1.5 million it's a five day upgrade let's do this three two one bam and let's do this one as well three two one bam nice all right so that that was four one and a half million gold upgrades that means that, that was six million gold spent on the base at this point uh let's see let's go ahead and collect this and then we'll also collect our treasury and see what else like what other uh gold we have left to uh oh and treasure level two nice did we just get some free gems wait a minute did we get some free gems or or not oh that's up here okay uh 100 free gems whoa <laughs> yes that is gonna that's gonna fund a few boosts if you know what i mean so 15 million gold through to one bam there we go awesome all right so what was i saying oh so we've we just spent six million gold on the base on uh on two bombs and two teslas now let's spend the rest of our gold on walls so we got six uh three million gold half a million per wall that means we can do six walls so let's go ahead and count that out one two three one two three i think that's six no this is six there we go okay so three million golden walls and three two one bam nice all right guys so we're, we're trying guys we're trying to max out those walls to level eight and then uh that way we can consider ourselves not terribly rushed uh but it's gonna take a long time before we can say that but all right so the last thing guys is this archer queen going to level 15 75 000 dark elixir a seven day a full seven day upgrade it's been counting up since then level 14 was uh six and a half days level 13 was six days so now level 15 is a full seven day and then it stays a seven day from this point forward so that makes things easier to predict for my uh, recording sessions but anyway so that's it for me let's do this 75 000 dark elixir level 15 queen guys this is exciting level 15 queen hype i'm just saying let's go three two one bam nice guys nice now it's nothing like a level 40 queen like a tunnel 10 should have but that is not too shabby guys but anyway so now that we're completely and absolutely broke guys that is it for me today as we spent a ton of loot on the base awesome episode really enjoyed it level 15 queen is amazing and then now that that is going to be happening we're going to try to get the king to level 15 and we're going to step it up like that so queen next after the king gets to level 15 we'll get the queen to 20 then the king will follow to 20 and we'll step up like that so anyway that is it for me guys i love each and every one of you thank you so much for tuning in like the video if you liked it as always and subscribe if you have not joined the class family and i uh we'll see y'all again next time Thank <laughs> you.